Well, we have been uh, talking quite a bit about uh, results and uh, the importance of results. And obviously, in order to be able to talk about results, you need to have information. You need to have mm -hmm. data and uh, lots of it. So the challenge today, after a long period where data was not available, is that there is actually a plethora of data, the big data, as they, as they call it. And uh, the challenge then becomes a way to make sure that this data is, uh, is reliable, is timely, it's uh, comparable uh, across different uh, databases, and it's produced in a way that uh, ensure its uh, quality and its uh, reliability. So the, the challenges about data is uh, essentially to make sure that as more and more of it becomes available, that people can really understand it, can uh, have access to it uh, easily, and that this data is presented in a way that makes sense to them. We, we live in the age of uh, Google, we live in the age of Facebook, so people are used to getting pre-digested information. And the challenge for us in the aid and in the development world is to make sure that this data is presented in a way that people can understand whether they are experts, whether they are very senior in our organizations, or whether they are citizens who want to understand where their money goes and what it does. So uh, having data that is uh, easily accessible, that is reliable, understandable, timely, uh, being able with this data to tell stories with graphs, with uh, maps, uh, is, is very important if we really want uh, to create a culture of results. Because in the end, that's what aid is all about, is to get results to improve people's lives. But uh, creating a culture of results is also fraught with some challenges. The, the first one is by definition, if you want to measure results, you have to have something that is measurable. Or, and there are things that are fundamental for development, whether it is institutional strength, whether it is uh, a certain culture of openness that are very hard to measure. So the fact that they are hard to measure in a results environment should not diminish their importance. I think so the, the fact that what's important is not always measurable is, is, is a risk. There's also a, what uh, some speaker today called the, the tyranny of the present, the tyranny of urgency. Uh, development is a, is a long process. It's a generation long <laughs> process. And the people who decide on aid allocations are very often politicians who have a very different time horizon, usually the term of a mandate. So combining uh, what I call development time, which is a generation long, with political time, which is a mandate long, is, is a risk that needs to be mitigated so you don't, you don't really favor systematically the short term uh, over the long term. The, the last one is really that whatever is, is being measured needs to be significant, uh, not simply the, the easy measurable results because the, the staff in international organizations are very smart and they will very quickly figure out what is it that they need to present to their hierarchy so that they will look good uh, and that is a, a danger as well to provide the, the wrong incentives to people by not uh, realizing that we talked a lot uh, today about the complexity of development. So we cannot boil it down to, to simple uh, measures. And uh, finally, there is uh, the need for all of this technical work, all of this data, all of these tools for representation all of these stories to be embedded in something much more intangible that is a real culture of results. And the culture of results is one where people feel empowered to take risks, they feel empowered to, uh, to fail and to explain why they have failed and to learn from their failures. It's a culture of learning, uh, it's a culture of constant training and examples and uh, the authorizing environment for such a culture has to come from the, from the very top. 
So it was very encouraging this morning to hear the, the Commissioner of Development talk about the culture of results. Uh, the fact that he spent the, the better part of his morning with us shows that he really is committed to creating a, a culture of development. So at least the, the leadership part of this uh, need for a culture of, uh, of results, a culture of learning is, is already in place. Now the, the challenge is to have frameworks, to have data, to have systems that will make the life of people who live in this culture of result uh, a lot easier and uh, a lot more fun and a lot more motivating as well.